This is Andreas. <laughs> Andreas, why, why don't you tell us a little bit about what life was like before Christ for you? At uh, first, I just want to say, um, and liebe Gruß in Schweiz und für all meine <coughs> Familie, wo zuhört live. I just want to say hi to my family that's watching on the live stream. So, um, yeah, my life without Jesus, <coughs> it looked, um, it was, I felt restless. It was like nothing really could fulfill me. I was always looking for something else, for something more. That wasn't good enough. So, yeah, it wasn't that much pleasant. <laughs> And, and so you came to Canada, right? And you had some faithful people in your life that were a burden for you. And, and so tell us a little bit about that and how you came to know Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. Well, yes, I uh, had the opportunity in September 13 to come to Canada and work here for a year. And um, Jesus saved me through my host mom that I lived at the time here in Canada. When she uh, found out I was not a believer, she, she knew that I grew up in a good Christian home. My parents were missionaries in India, so I knew all about it. So she started to convict me about why I have not made my decision yet. And uh, one day I came home and we were talking in the living room and she had a pamphlet that she gave me and we were reading through it and it was about if you have your ticket to heaven yet. And I knew I don't have it. So I decided that night or that evening there to give my life to Jesus and um, ask him to forgive my sins. And it was a really hard prayer for me. I don't know, there was a lot of, um, I guess I wanted to, it was hard for me to make that decision, but I know it was the right decision. And after that, I definitely, I felt a relief. And I was so happy. And also to know that I have eternal life with Jesus, like it's written in John 3:36, whoever believes in the Son has eternal life. And I know that I'm gonna be with him now forever. Lord, I'm grateful for the work of the Spirit and for a faithful people who are preaching the, the good news of the gospel. And so, Andreas, what do you, what's one thing that you want people to know about Jesus? I would like to know, to let people know that um, it doesn't matter what you did, who you are, he's always here for us, like in Matthew 11:28, 28, where it says, Come to me, all who are weary and heavily burdened, and I will give you rest. Andreas, you a follower of Jesus Christ? Yes, I am. And why do you want to be baptized today? Out of obedience and as a sign for the seen and unseen world. Well, brother, based on your profession of faith, it is my privilege to baptize you in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Hallelujah! Yes! <laughs>